you're going to be my business partner. Good morning. Now, our summer plans are all a little bit up in the air at the minute, but we've got a prize that lets you holiday abroad or a little bit close to home. That's because you could win this VW camper van. It comes with heated seats, sat-nav and parking assist. You'll also win £40,000 straight from our bank account into yours. You and your family could be making memories for years to come with £40,000 in the bank. You could keep the family entertained all year long with all that tax-free cash. And at the end of a fun full day of exploring new places, you can sit back and enjoy your camping cinema, which we're going to throw in as well. What a day. I am exhausted. Now let me get some rest. Hi and welcome to Sandy Cliff Ford in Nottingham. I am Sean Gabidon. We are live on Facebook, so sit back, relax, because over the course of the next 20 minutes, I'm very excited to introduce you guys to what is a once in a generation of a moment for an icon of the Ford brand. It's the Ford Mustang. Now, for the first time in 55 years, Ford have expanded on their original Mustang lineup. They've taken all of those ingredients from the original Mustang, from progress, freedom, that hint of rebellion, and they've brought to you the all new Mustang Mach E. Bursting with features and technologies, all electric, uh, with some fantastic functions and features, but still giving that really exhilarating drive. And as you can see, it really is an incredible looking car. There's a point, isn't there, Sean, that a uniform is a uniform. You yeah. could argue underwear is private because it's under your clothes. Yeah. But if you can see it through your clothes, doesn't it then become something public? I think, in my opinion, this situation is one of them where it's, it's fairly degrading in this day and age to start to say we potentially have to tell women what colour underwear to wear. I think underwear, as you say, it's to be worn under your clothes. It's not necessarily to be seen. It should be more the uniform that we look at. If it's an issue, then we need to change the T-shirts or the shirts that they're wearing. Right, so not the shirt is too see-through. Yeah, that's what the problem that. is. Right, Why okay. should women be, you know, when you're employing somebody, you know, as you say, appreciate it's professional and you, you need to look professional, but you, you, when you employ someone, you're taking on that ability to, to choose someone who's right for that job and who understands what colour they should and shouldn't wear. You shouldn't have to tell someone what colour underwear they should wear. Sean, let me bring you in. How much have you saved from uh, not having to pay business rates over the last 15 months? I think just in general, every, all you know, small business owners, myself, friends who I have who own small businesses are all um, saving quite a lot. Uh, I think throughout the whole of COVID, there's been so many hurdles and, and things to get through that having these reliefs have been so so beneficial for the small business owners um, and to now you know without going back to 100% normal where everybody's revenue streams are back to normal it's um, it's going to be a really tough time I guess for the small businesses to make their way out of it and to, to survive that part. I mean a lot of people a lot of small business owners in particular would like to see business rates replaced with something else but I mean the fact is for the governments, they are very simple, they're easy to collect and they're difficult to avoid. I mean, it's going to be hard to come up with a replacement, isn't it? Yeah, and, and you know, I, I don't know what the replacement would be, but I think, in my opinion, there just needs to be a, a better structure to, to come out of it that aligns more to, you know, the research that we've got from Metro Bank is, is vital and it's proven that if the revenue streams are not back to normal, then, you know, COVID is, is is the direct impact of this. So until things go back to normal, I don't think we should be having to, you know, as businesses go back to normal in, in what we're paying, so. That was one of the things I felt I had for my business and I have now, it's the passion, I care. This is what I want to do and this is what I love doing. I've got Alex and Olivia Bowen. Hi. I am a designer, I drew out these designs. I didn't copy these from anybody else. Here today at the business show, it's been an amazing day. I've just been speaking to everybody about my experience, about where I started, about the business. 